So this is a look at the AM band here in Toronto. And we can see all the spikes here that the SDR is identifying represent channels. And if we click on one, we can tune it in. I don't have it up very loud, but that's 640. And now, if I slide across, we can move it, which is, if you look up here, 200 better, 680. And then we can tune to a different one. Okay, so there we see. 740. So what's the point of all of this? Well, the point is that here in North America, the AM band is segregated into channels on 10 kilohertz centers. And that means that all these stations are 10 kilohertz apart. And that means that the tuner only needs to be able to pick up 10 kilohertz intervals. And in fact, most digital tuners and inexpensive radios do exactly that. Outside of North America, medium wave frequencies are distributed at nine kilohertz intervals. And I've talked about that before, especially in the context of this radio, which is the D219, the XH data D219, which is kind of a radio that's every, got everybody's attention this year. And the problem with this radio in North America, as I've demonstrated in a video, which I'll link below, is that it's only available or has only been available with medium wave set to with nine kilohertz intervals between it and you can see that because the am band starts at 522 if you look at the bottom of the radio in north america the band starts at 520. now what's happened is that todd Burt has published a video where he looks at a new version of that radio the xh data d 219 that has 10 kilohertz tuning and he's found it pretty good as one might expect since it's a pretty good radio otherwise and uh, it does appear to be available on the xh data website in the u.s but i did try and they won't ship to canada at the moment so i think that changes my view of the viability of the uh of the D219. I think if you have a D219 with the new 10 kilohertz spacing, then I think it becomes a very viable emergency radio in North America. Okay, hope that was interesting. I will order one when they become available in Canada. Links to both Todd Bird's video and my earlier video on this radio talking about this aspect of it will be below. Thanks for watching.